20 billion dollars? One? 17? Is it up to a trillion? Montgomery Burns is so rich he could buy the whole of Springfield and he wouldn't even go close to broke. But that definition does not begin to cover how much money he has. Before we tell you how much this old man has, the question you should be asking right now is, when did Mr. Burns start making money? Was he born with a silver spoon, or did he work his ass off right from a young age? How did Mr. Burns start making money? Mr. Burns happens to be the second youngest of the family and 11th child to his parents. The crazy part of the story is that all his siblings kicked the bucket just from eating poisoned baked potatoes. But it is later shown in the show that his younger brother, George Burns, made it out alive. But that's not what we're here to talk about. After the death of his siblings, Burns lived with his sometimes ruthless father until he was whisked away by his grandfather, the cruel billionaire slave owner, Colonel Wainwright Montgomery Burns, who transformed little Monty into the greedy, ruthless businessman that he is now. And when his grandfather passed away, Burns inherited all of his money. So yeah, he was born with a silver spoon and took advantage of this silver spoon to become Springfield's richest, his sources of income. Despite his quirky and somewhat scatterbrained nature, Burns is an absolute genius when it comes to business. He's a master at running various commercial ventures and has a knack for raking in huge profits, which probably explains why he's so incredibly rich. Just look at how he turned Springfield's church into a thriving advertising business and set up an oil drilling company in record time. Plus, he's got a talent for acquiring businesses. His financial wizardry has saved him on more than one occasion when he's faced with losing his fortune. In 1974, he opened the one and only source of electricity in Springfield, the nuclear power plant. An enterprise with two reactors and two cooling towers. Hmm, I wonder how much it cost him to buy a nuclear reactor. In a small town like Springfield, Burns does have the monopoly on some of its biggest and most thriving businesses. Businesses like... Springfield Monorail, Springfield Opera House, Springfield Elementary School and Prison, Springfield Sports Arena, Ticketmaster, Ugh. Montgomery Burns State Prison, Mr. Burns Basketball Stadium, Mr. Burns Casino, Burns University, to mention a few. It's starting to make sense why he's so rich. Burns even owns the rights to the festive song White Christmas, and the song alone has made him billions. That is just from one song he owns the rights to, but how much does he actually make? How much Mr. Burns actually makes? Let's start with how much the CEO earns as his salary of the general stock payout. We know the rest of the money he earns from the power plant goes into lawsuits and cleanups from some of the dirty things he does that violate the law, of which we know are quite numerous. However, Mr. Burns doesn't have any stock program in place for the nuclear power plant. In Season 3, Episode 11, Homer sells his shares prematurely to a stockbroker and only gains $25, explaining how the employees have their own stock options. It just goes a long way to show that Burns isn't the type to give ownership of his company to another person, so we are certain he owns more than 95% of his company. Now, with Mr. Burns' management skills, let's see how much the company is paying out. Comparing the nuclear power plant to another company called Portland General Electric, the company had $1,991,000,000 gross revenue in 2018. They had 211,375 stocks in circulation, and they paid out $6.16 per stock. This explains that in a year, they paid out $1,302,070 in stocks. Using the same calculations for the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant, since it makes $1,899,648 per day, the plant's yearly gross revenue will be $69,371,520. Stay with me. Calculating 0.065% of that will mean that Mr. Burns pays out $450,691.48 yearly. In a nutshell, if Mr. Burns owns 95% of that, he will be making $428,156.91 yearly in stocks, and this doesn't even include the CEO salary he gets. 
in the utility industry, an average CEO salary is about 1.3 million, which is what we will be giving Mr. Burns, and after all his expenses, we will have him put away 35% for himself at an average 5% interest rate. Furthermore, Burns won't be investing in stocks anymore because of his current stock portfolio in the episode The Old Man and the Lisa, where he checks his stocks and finds out that he has no cash left. In the episode, the old dude gets depressed and consults Lisa's help to get his business back, promising to leave his old lifestyle behind, but we know that's impossible. Once a villain, always a villain. All this has given us is an idea of how rich this man is, raking in all these digits just from what he does and we haven't even covered all the businesses he owns. Let's do a little math, tracing instances for each year from the start of the series in 1990 when the money in his bank account was about $2.5 million to 2012 when his net worth hit a billion dollars. Money man. In season two, episode four, Surprise Inspection discovered over 342 violations in the power plant, which amounted to a $56 million fine. However, this amount will be set aside by Mr. Burns for a revenue that he wouldn't claim. In season three, Mr. Burns made a lot of cash in various instances. When Hans and Fritz bought the power plant from him for $100 million, he retired and they both began a thorough assessment and analysis on the power plant and Mr. Burns' employees. When they realized that the shape of the power plant at the moment needed a lot of fixing, they quickly sold the power plant back to Mr. Burns for $50 million. He saw their desperation and also regretted ever selling it to them in the first place, but it doesn't change the fact that he made an extra $50 million in that episode. In a later episode, Burns placed a million dollar bet on his softball team. He even hired expert baseball players to his team to make sure he didn't lose the game. We assume he made $500,000 after he paid off the team he hired. With the amount he is making this year, we will put away 97% of his income, so from the math, we can tell that in 1992, Burns had $39,179,821.47. The following year, which is season four, Burns got hit with a fine of $3 million. The next year, in 1994, he built his casino. From the information we have gathered, it would be cheaper to build a casino in a city like Springfield. So, Mr. Burns spent $20 million to get a new source of income. The average salary of a casino owner is $219,846 per year. Due to his increased salary, Mr. Burns will be putting 45% of his income from 1993 to 1994. However, in 1994, Burns earned $20,633,728. Season 6 was another great year for the entrepreneur. First of all, he funded a biographical film, Signor Spielbergo, where he spent 500k and he also raised 25 world champion dog racers later in the season from which he made 10 million dollars. So that'll raise him up to making 50 million dollars. Still in 1995, Mr. Burns tried to drill the oil under Springfield Elementary School but it didn't turn out well and he ended up spending 1 million dollars making his total income for the year $34,133,728. We know the Simpsons operate on a floating timeline, but as of 2006, according to Forbes Fictional 15, a list from Forbes that listed the 15 richest people in the realm of fiction, Mr. Burns was the world's second richest fictional character with a whopping net worth of $17 billion. His net worth. Do you know how much $17 billion is? Let me put this in context. As of the latest estimate, the global population has reached approximately 8 billion people. If we were to evenly distribute $17 billion among every individual, each person would receive slightly over $2.12. What? If Burns were to give money to the whole world in 2012, he still wouldn't go broke. But you see, six years later, his net worth massively decreased over the years due to his poor management scheme. As of 2010, his net worth was 1.3 billion, which is still freaking huge. As of 2023, his net worth stands at 20 billion dollars. 
Nuclear power plant money. You must be wondering how much revenue the nuclear power plant generates for Mr. Burns. Well, the nuclear power plant can generate 13,896 megawatts if it runs for a day. But we know that Mr. Burns cannot run it for 24 hours, so let's say it runs for 12 hours a day, it means it will be generating 6,984 megawatts in a day. Now, how much does he sell his electricity for to buyers and Springfield citizens? Moreover, the state in which Springfield is remains a mystery to us. But Mr. Burns will have $2,374,560 every day from selling 100% of electricity. We don't think he actually sells 100% daily, so 80% of electricity daily will amount to him making $1,899,648 in a day. With this money, aside from his daily living, he pays his employees as well as providing cash for his business upkeep. Safe to say, this old dude has a lot of cash. Money needs to get one Monty Burns to be rich. Damn. Mr. Burns is stinkingly rich and he is never satisfied with how much he earns and this greed has cost him a lot but he still ends up acquiring more wealth and he will keep getting richer. We estimate that by 2030, Burns would be worth 20 trillion dollars. This is if the writers of Simpsons will it. Endeavor to hit that like and subscribe button or I will release the hounds. Until next time folks.